Could you imagine if we lived in a world where politicians, whatever they said publicly that was recorded in some sort of device like this, if they were lying about any of it, then it would be perjury and they would go to jail. Wouldn't that be something to live in a world like that where every politician that stands up and says anything publicly that's a matter of public record, uh, if there was any lie whatsoever, then you go to jail. That would bring some accountability, wouldn't it? You know, this week we're going to look at Matthew 5, 8, and Jesus says, Blessed are those that are pure in heart. You know, a lot of the Beatitudes, they have this otherness aspect. This one's really looking internally, and it's looking deep internally. You know, um, Tim Keller talks about this in his book, The Reason for God, and a Belief in an Age of Skepticism. Keller says, Purity of heart, as described in Matthew 5, 8, goes beyond merely external actions or behaviors, but he sees it as a condition of the heart. And I think that's right. You know, the place, the seat of where we think and who we are. Is it undividedly following God? Basically what this means is that we're not double-minded, that we don't have two thoughts on something, that we solely have God as our main goal, that everything else is second. All the good things in life are second. We have a priority problem in our heart. And to be pure in heart is to strive for God above all things. So let's do that this week, shall we?